Hello everyone. This is going to be a general mid-month reading for the sign of Pisces. So let's see, Pisces. Please tell me about Pisces. Pisces from now until the end of March. Pisces from now until the end of March. Give me four cards for Pisces, their situation, the challenge, the advice, and the outcome for Pisces. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it seems like there's been a missed opportunity here for something. And if you're a female Pisces, I think you're dealing with two men. If you're um, a male Pisces, then this is you stuck between um, two attitudes that, you know, this is how... You know, it's challenging. The King of Cups shows up as a challenge, but the advice from the cards is the King of Wands. So, what does this mean? So, if you're a female and you're dealing with this person, um, this could be a water sign person, um, or um, just simply someone who is more sensitive, you know, and um, sentimental, that kind of person. Uh, so it could have been a missed opportunity between uh, the two of you. Uh, but the advice from the cards is that you should go with this other guy, the King of Wands, the fire sign guy. Now, if you're a male Pisces watching this, then you are stuck between feeling blue and taking action in a situation. It, your challenge is that you're too overcome with emotions uh, about this. Uh, but the advice from the cards is like, don't do that, take action, be proactive and, you know, go ahead with it. But I don't think you are going to <laughs> because uh, the outcome is the seven of swords. This is a card of, you know, stagnation, nothing moving forward. So um, whichever your situation is, if male or female Pisces, I, I don't see that anything is going to happen eventually here. Okay, so let's see. Why is the Five of Swords in the focus for Pisces? Please tell me, why is the Five of Swords in the focus for Pisces? Why well, you're so hurt about something that didn't work out. Yeah, and I think this didn't even have the chance to get off the ground. But some there's something in your life that's really not working out. It might not be in a romantic situation. I told you this is a general reading, but it's just that you're so upset over this. It could have something you involved with travel. Uh, it could even be about your car. Maybe your car broke, broke down or something along those lines. Um, that could, uh, could have happened too, but you're so upset about this. So let's see, why is the King of Cups here in the challenge for Pisces? Why is the King of Cups? Okay. So, uh, if you're a female Pisces, this guy um, you're dealing with could be a lawyer or someone who works for um, an institution of the state, just for some of you. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything bad about this person. I don't see anything bad about this person at all. It's just, it could be that it's just the problem of you deciding between two. Okay, let's see. Why is the King of Wands here in the advice for um, Pisces? What should Pisces do? Why is the King of Wands the advice for Pisces? Yeah, you know, it could be that um, this person uh, that the cards are advising you to go for is either someone you have had a relationship with in the past or it could be even someone that you've known for a long time, depending. I, I, I don't necessarily see this spread as a love reading. 
but um, it could be even a childhood friend or something along those lines but this person it's the one the cards are advising you to go with yeah um, so it, it could be that you're stuck here between two different and people and you don't know um, what to do okay let's see the the, um, the four of swords in the outcome for Pisces what's going to happen for Pisces by the end of um, March okay so wow you've got so many you've got three people here Pisces and I don't it's very confusing to me to make out a, a clear storyline from these cards but by the end of the month honestly I don't see action taking place but communication maybe you're going to have an attitude that um you're going to take on the attitude of this queen of swords as in you're going if you're dealing with two men who are interested in you um you're going to speak a lot to them so that you can make a decision about which one is right for you and the way you're going to take this decision is very rationally like i don't even think you're going to decide with the heart I think you're going to, to decide more along the lines of who would be more convenient for me. Convenient in, in a strategic sense. Who has the same um, life goals as me? Uh, which one has the better, I don't know, situation and so on. But um, there's definitely going to be loads of communication here and honestly if that's the case about deciding between two different um, options then it's really good that you're in, in, in embodying this energy of the queen of swords because um yeah you know why not you 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 would measure them up and see exactly you know uh, be objective about them and um yeah it, it could be that um with the king of cups um it could be that in his in his uh, case uh you might have a harder time being objective because this man i i'm under the impression is a um, quite charismatic person and um so it could be that you know the justice here as the challenge for you when it comes to him it could be that you would have a hard time with him to be you know objective like uh, this queen of swords but overall Pisces I think that you're playing your cards right for for the time being by um you know just initiating conversation and measuring them up basically so um yeah that was it that was your reading I hope you enjoyed it I hope it gave you some uh, guidance I wish you good luck with your situation and I'll see you in my next videos. Bye for now.